Did you find Albeit's house on the map? What should we do next, Holmes? Help! Do you hear that? Quick, we have to open this door. The door's too strong and the lock is too solid to break with bare hands. Could serve as cover. If I cut those ropes, the curtains will fall and block the attacker's view. Watson, I'll try to reach those curtains to close them. Cover me.
Our assailant escaped using this rope. Calm down. It's over now. It's gone. You? Oh. But why are you here? You're not doctors, are you? No. Well, you're half right. Shall we remove these masks? Your true name is Albeit, is it not? You were a member at Charles Yellingham's club. Yes, I was. Can you tell us what happened here? After your visit at the hospital, I quickly returned home. I was lying there on the sofa and, and felt an evil presence in the room. An evil presence? Never mind. It's probably the fever. Or perhaps a living statue? Yes. It was one of the double statues. I saw its shadow. I believed that it was searching for me, that it wanted to kill me. It was horrible. As in Zacharias's murder, the statue came to life when its intended victim appeared in front of it. I must examine your residence. It may hold some clues. Tell us about your expedition to Guatemala, 14 years ago? It was in my former life. What really happened there? You were said to have died. I was ill with a terrible fever. I asked them to leave me there. I can't remember how, I only have flashes of memory. But by some miracle I survived. I left an eye and one arm behind. It took me time, but at last I managed to return to London. Why do you use a false name? That expedition signaled the end of my career, and my very life as I had known it. I changed my name and my address. Now I'm weak and useless and alone. I'm a walking dead man. Not for long. <laughs> Perhaps this was it. It was my curse to fade away little by little. Tekun and man's revenge. You are aware of Zacharias's murder, are you not? Yes, and quite aptly I read that he was killed with a spear. Aptly? Well, he practiced archaeology almost as though it were a sport, seeking adrenaline. Imagine his state of adrenaline when he died, him being the prey. And who would have been the hunter? Taking a man? Whoever, whatever. It'll soon be over for me at any rate. A statue was once here. Now it's missing. The iron mounting rod is broken. The surface is damaged.
Albeit's wife and son, I presume. This model forms a part of another, larger model. Eighteen ninety four. This model was created after the expedition to Guatemala. The interior seems well designed, but I cannot see it properly. This bed is very small. There's a little bed in the small room. It's been used. Well, it is for my son, Gulliver. After my official death, my wife and he left for Glasgow. On my return, I installed this room. So they know about you? My boy Gulliver visits occasionally. But I wonder, what is the life of a crippled father? <laughs> they will lose me again. Mr. Albeit, what is this? How? Oh, it's impossible. How did you find it? Answer me. Seventeen years ago, I built a model of Tekken in Man's temple. We stored it inside the club's globe before leaving for the expedition. I've no idea if it's still there. While in Guatemala, I had dreams about a missing part. A pyramid. Then, when we entered the temple, I experienced vivid visions. Wait a minute. You entered the temple? Well, yes, we did. And we found the pyramid from my visions. But I was too weak. I was unable to solve the mystery of its entrance. I failed there. I always wanted to understand why. So upon my return... You rebuilt this final part according to your visions and... Nothing. But I'm dying, and at least my son will see that I did my best to complete my life's work. <laughs> 